So today, the Star Scorecard uh, is a series right now. We're doing the cheat code 5.5a. In a previous video, I told you geometry is my favorite kind of math. Always. I love geometry. I love shapes, lines, angles. That's what we're working on. So this teak, this cheat code is all about, can you classify two-dimensional figures, shapes? Can you classify shapes, right, in a hierarchy of sets and subsets? Just, ah, two-dimensional figures. Can you classify shapes? No. This video, we're going to talk a lot about vocab, and, and, and then we're going to do two questions, okay? And then the next video, we're going to skip all the vocab and do five questions. So a polygon is a plane shape. So that means it's just a simple shape. It's two-dimensional, it's not three-dimensional, it's not a cube, it's not a sphere, it's not a, okay? With straight lines. A circle is not a polygon. A polygon can only have straight sides. It can be as funky as you want it to be. No curves. So a triangle, three shapes. Now, this is a video, so pause it, check out all this, and then you can, you know, press play when you're done. But Triangle, three sides. A quadrilateral is four sides. Quad, in Spanish, cuatro is four. Quad is four-sided. Now check this out. There's one, two, three, four, five types of quadrilaterals that you have to be prepared to know about with this, you know, on the star test. Okay, a rhombus, tilted square, a square, four-sided polygon, equal side lengths, and all four 90-degree angles. A parallelogram, a rectangle, a trapezoid. Hugely important, okay? Gotta know this, this vocabulary. And then pentagon, a five-sided shape, five. Hexagon, six-sided, so it's like a honeycomb. Octagon, for those like UFC fans, it's, it's octagon is eight-sided polygon. Also, a stop sign is an octagon. A decagon is a 10-sided shape, right? So, like, think about a decade has 10 years. A decagon is 10-sided. So, there's two ways to classify triangles. You can classify a triangle by its links, by the side links, okay? Or you could classify a triangle by the angles, and we're going to talk about both of those. So, um, an equilateral triangle has equal side lengths and all three are equal angles. This, these angles are all the same, okay? Isosceles, it's hard to remember isosceles and scaling. Do your best. I always think about isosceles is the Christmas tree, okay? Because these two sides are equal. They're even, and these two angles are even, okay? So it has two equal sides and two equal angles. I think about it as the Christmas tree. And look, this has two different pairs, S-O-S, E-L-E. And scaling only has one, E and E. I isosceles, that's this S-O-S and E-L-E, that's why I remember how I remember isosceles, is two even lines, two even and equal angles. Scaling, every line is different, every length is different, and every angle is different. The scaling is the crazy triangle, it's the funky one. You don't ever know what's going on with the scaling triangle. Okay. Angles and lines. Okay, so angles, this is the, the measure between two rays, two straight lines. So this is an angle, right? This is an angle, this is an angle. These are all angles. All right, so now let's look at the types of angles we have. An, a, it's a cute little angle. A cute little angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. An ob, obtuse, obtuse is a big old angle, and its angle is greater than 90 degrees. So this is acute, and this is obtuse. All right? A right angle. Guys, 90 degrees, right angle. 90 degrees, right angle. Right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. And that is going to be notified like this. If you ever have a picture and there's a little square right there, or just a, a, a sharp angle, right? That equals, that is the symbol for 90 degrees. That is the symbol for a right angle. Okay, now, lines. Again, this is, geometry is kind of interesting. 
You have to know so much vocabulary before you can even start the problem. That's what, so why some people don't like geometry. It's, it's okay. Perpendicular lines makes two, like makes, makes these lines intersect at a 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle, all of those are 90 degree angles. There's four angles there. They're all 90 degrees. Parallel lines never touch. Nowhere. They're never, ever, ever going to touch. Parallel lines will never touch. And then intersecting lines, two lines that at some point cross. They're not perpendicular, so they don't cross at 90 degrees, but they do intersect. All right. So, let's look at it. Which shape could never have parallel sides? All right, a rhombus, remember a rhombus is, so a square, four equal sides, four equal angles, and they're all 90 degree angles. A rhombus, let's say, is a tilted square. Um, that was a bad tilt. So we'll go tilted square. And they're, they're all the same side length, but the angles aren't 90 degrees, okay? A rhombus is a tilted square, the angles are not 90, but you could have parallel lines, okay? These could be parallel, and then the opposite also could also be parallel. Oh, a triangle. Guys, a triangle will never have parallel lines because it only has three sides, so nothing is ever opposite. So a triangle will never have parallel sides. That's cool. Octagon? Octagon will have parallel sides. Right? So, like, these lines are parallel. You see, every opposite is parallel. Okay? And the symbol to make a parallel line is, is to just draw arrows on that line. And then a pentagon. Um, a pentagon could have... Okay? Let's say that those are parallel, right? And you have, like, this. That is... These are, you know, these two top and bottom are parallel lines, and it has five sides, so it's a pentagon. Which figure appears to have only one parallel sides, right? One pair of parallel sides. Whew! This is, okay, figure T. That looks like a rectangle, right? I'm going to, let's, we can draw that. Those are parallel, and these are parallel. And this is a pier, Appears so we don't know for sure, but we can we can guess, okay? Okay, so those has two parallel lines. Here's a line, and and that looks like it is going to intersect, right? And if we draw this line, do you guys see? On your test, draw on your paper. Carry those lines out as best as you can. That's got zero parallel pairs of parallel lines. In this one, we can see that it's like, that's going to cross up here, but here is, right? This is a set of parallel lines, so it only has one. Has only one pair, side of parallel figure S, F. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching these videos. Tune in again, appreciate it.